The SMS mobile software not only allows you to map boundaries, soil sampling, crop scouting, and coverage logging in the field, but it also allows you to manage and view up to four layers in the active map window. This ensures that all needed data is available at your fingertips while in the field. In this tutorial, you will learn how to turn on additional map layers, modify the settings of those layers, and display tooltips in the SMS mobile software. To begin, open the Operation or Dataset Viewer window and select what information you wish to work with. In the main mapping window of SMS Mobile, you will now see the active map layer that you selected to work with. If the field you selected has a field boundary associated with it, the field boundary will be displayed by default. To turn on additional map layers, go to the Map menu and choose Select Layers or click on the Select Layers icon in the toolbar. The Map Layer Settings dialog will open. There are four map layers available to turn on or off and customize settings for. The active map layer, or the one you selected when you first entered the tool, will be listed across the top and will display the dataset name. The remaining three layers are available to configure in whatever way desired. These three layers are for reference purposes only and cannot be modified on the main mapping screen. To activate or deactivate a layer from being displayed in the main mapping window, use the checkbox to the right of each available layer. To modify or add a new layer, click on the Select button. In the Select a Layer Type dialog, select what type of information you wish to turn on in the background. A dataset layer will be one that was exported out of the SMS desktop software, imported from a generic shapefile, or was previously recorded with SMS Mobile. A background layer is any linked, farm, or field background layer, such as a Terra server image or tiger line data, or a satellite image directly downloaded into the SMS Mobile software. A field boundary layer can be turned on and will display either the current field level boundary or the farm boundary, depending on what option is selected from the drop down menu. In this example, we are going to turn on a soil survey map and satellite image as background layers. The soil survey data was exported from the SMS desktop software as a dataset, so click the Dataset Layer option and click OK. The following screen allows you to see all datasets previously recorded with SMS Mobile and any that have been imported. Place a check in the box next to the product instance or data set that you wish to turn on in the background and click OK. Once returned to the map settings dialog, the layer that was just turned on will be displayed. Repeat this process to turn on another background layer. This time, after clicking Select, we will choose Background Layer since we were turning on an image that was downloaded into SMS Mobile. Click OK. Choose to download imagery from Internet and click OK again. Now that all layers have been turned on, we can begin to modify the settings for these layers. To change the display options for any layer, click the Select button. The Layer Settings dialog will open where you will have four tabs available – Drawing, Labels, Legend, and Sublayers. The Drawing tab will allow you to adjust the transparency of the data, which is often helpful if you need to see through the top map layer to the other layers below. You can also adjust the point size and line width for the data set. You can choose if you want to have the polygons filled and or outlined. It is common when working with the boundary layer to remove the check next to fill polygons so that you have the outline of the field boundary and can still see other information within the field area. You can also change the selection color so that when an object is selected it is more visible. The Labels tab is where you will turn labels on and configure the settings of those labels. To turn a label on, check the Show Label box and then click on the Select button to choose what you want the label to display. You can show labels based on spatial statistics, such as area, length, or count, attributes of the dataset, such as soil type or slope, or properties of the dataset, such as field or product name. 
select which option to display and use the drop-down to choose the desired item and then click OK. Now that the label has been selected, you can change the font size of the label, enable a white border around the label, and choose if you want to see duplicate labels in the main mapping window. On the Legend tab, you can customize the legend value, color scheme, and the number of ranges used. Click the Select button to choose what spatial statistic, attribute, or property that you wish to display. Click OK. You can now change the colors being used in the map using one of the predefined color schemes available in the drop-down menu, or by individual legend ranges by clicking over the color that needs updated. For numerical data, you can also adjust the number of ranges being displayed in the map by clicking the Set Ranges button. The software will automatically update the range values, or you can even enter in your own customized range values. Click OK after making the necessary changes. Finally, you can adjust the settings for any sublayers tied to the actively mapped layer. You can choose to show related data sets, marks, and buffers, and even adjust the settings for each type of sublayer. The options on this screen will only be available if the data set you selected contains a sublayer feature. Click OK to be returned to the Map Settings dialog. After making all changes to the layers being displayed, click OK. Your map will now update with the changes you made. In addition to modifying the layers and their settings, you can also turn on tooltips that will be displayed in the lower left-hand corner of the main mapping window. Tooltips are a great way to display additional information without having to label each individual item. To turn on tooltips, go to the Map menu and choose Select Tooltips, or click on the Select Tooltips icon. In the selected tooltips window, you will be able to turn on and customize two different tooltips. Start by selecting the layer from the drop-down menu that contains the information you wish to display as a tooltip. Any layer that was turned on in the Select Layers dialog can be used. Next, click Select and choose if you want to display spatial statistics, an attribute, or a property. After choosing the type of value to display, use the drop-down list to pick the value. Click OK to return to the Select Tooltip screen. If needed, select the second tooltip to display. Click OK once all necessary changes have been made. On the main mapping window, the tooltips will now be displayed in the lower left-hand corner. As you move across the field, the values will automatically update to show you the correct value based on your current location. You have now learned how to turn on and edit map layers and enable tooltips. Please review the other tutorials to learn how to utilize other key features of the software.